everybody. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Tea with Phil and Jen. Oh, but wait a second. Look. Whoa, 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 my whoa, whoa, whoa. Joining me today instead of Jen is TJ, TJ <laughs> from World Tea Podcast. Many of you guys will know TJ. It's me. And we're just going to have a chat. I, uh, I've met TJ multiple times at yes. tea festivals. Toronto Fest. You were one of the uh, participants at our very first tea tasting. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, I love the venue. We've I got lost, but TJ I like it. Over it and over and over. Mm-hmm. But I've never had a chance to really sit down and get to know TJ. So that is yeah. what we're going to do, and we're going to share that with you guys, so that you can get to know TJ a little better too. Yes, he spends a ton of time bringing you guys so much time. great information <laughs> about tea and tea culture, and. Uh, it's time for you guys to get to know the man behind the tea. Me, TJ, right. in Las Vegas at the World Tea Expo. World Tea Expo. That, that's, that's where right. we are at. Okay. Awesome. So, forestry degree. I just heard <laughs> forestry degree popped out. I'm like, what? Yeah, surprise. So, um, yeah, what would you like to know? <laughs> About so trees? <laughs> it, was that the... So, teas? Tea is a tree. So, tea, I tea guess is, that Tea is a be, tree. People don't it, know that. People don't realize how tall a tree a tea tree right? can yeah. get because they're like oh a tea bush it's like well there's differences could, could in tree. that could be a tree yeah totally it, it, essentially most of the teas you see are all bonsai because it, people, they've actually been plucked around all bonsai ising is restricting the, the growth of the right, um, right. of the plant so you're you're harvesting the leaves which would usually feed in and allow the roots yeah. to grow pruning them you, into a shape yeah 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 you keep and you, you limit that and that causes it to be stressed and then you get a the, it shoots out again so it's it, there's a lot of intimacy with tea when, within, when you're uh, working with and harvesting from a tea bush. But uh, I guess back to the whole forestry thing. Um, so is st- that kind of the beginning of your tea journey? Uh, I guess so. I, I, I can, I can, in retrospect, I can think of it that way. Um, at the just time, at the time it was like my dad just said, TJ, you're 14, get a job. Okay. <laughs> you're now able to work. <laughs> so um, okay. there was a, a, tr- a tree nursery in my hometown and that's where I eventually Got a job. I, I worked there for from since I was 14 up until a little bit into uh, high school, just a bit after, and so I was around 20 or so. And so it was, it was a considerable number of years working at a tree nursery, getting to know trees. I didn't really know a lot about it. Um, I went to uh, like I ended up knowing a lot about it at the time working there. It was just a pain in the ass job. I hated it. Sweaty summers in the field, picking right. weeds. It, you learn a bit about what the trees look like here or there, but it wasn't until later. When after I dropped out of university, where I was studying to be a teacher, I went into uh, college and learned about to pursue forestry, and wow. so I did a three-year degree there, and that was all. I mean, I traveled to Austria, Hungary, um, and wow. Italy to do an intensive two-week forestry study. They have some amazing. I'm getting nerd out tree tree out for a bit. Yeah, let's tree it, out. And I, it, first of all, those aren't three countries I would think of. You're coming from Canada. Yeah, home of the tree. Yeah, pe- people. Pe- are, Arguably home of not home of forestry, if you want giant but forestry industry, giant like massive. Picture it this way: um, the way <laughs> the amount of um, um, I'm, uh, I haven't studied forestry in a while, so I'm a bit rough on, on the the tree news. But the amount of trees that have died off to whatever beetle is out west killing all the trees out there, um, which is bad. I should know this. Um, the amount of forestries that have died there are enough to cover entire countries forests in Europe. Sure. So, right. and uh, then we had the ash borer. Yeah, and then the ash borer is moving out, and then we have the Asian pine beetle. Oh my goodness! I really should know this, but Japanese this fire beetle. Yeah, is the uh, Asian longhorn beetle. I think it's the Asian longhorn beetle. Uh, but it's it's red. It has these huge antennae that swing out back. It focuses primarily on maple trees. But um, wow. uh, going over there, it was more of oh, you're Canada. You have. S- you know a lot about forestry because you have so much of it. Right. Can you teach us the techniques? But then there's also a reciprocation in that, that, hey, we can learn a lot of techniques from how you do your forestry techniques. And mm-hmm. it's amazing. Pure beach stands, which may not mean anything to anybody, but you've got these solid, smooth trees. We have beach here, and it's just fantastic to walk in and just see. It's like no one sees a pure beach stand. It's like Is one that a kind of tree. A uh, beech tree, yeah, yeah, very, very nice, very tall, very, very. Um, if you go into the, any of the hardwood forests up in o- Ontario, you'll see it. they have very long. Um, oh my god, I'm forgetting all the terminology, and this is very bad because of how passionate I am about it. But um, uh, they have very long, long. Um, before the leaf open, very long buds. There we go. Okay. Very long, needle-like. And they open up, and they're very smooth. And if you walk through the the 
the the bark almost looks like an elephant's foot. Like that's how smooth okay. and gray it is. It's a very nice, okay. very wonderful tree. But uh, you, you, what you rarely see is a pure stand of a tree, which is, the forest is only that type of tree. Oh, okay. So okay. that's what I say. So you rarely see that. Um, but I may be digressing here. And um, so yeah, so study forest uh, dropped out. Went dropped out. Withdrew from university. Went to college. Studied forestry. Went abroad. Came back. And then I got into even more forestry, but more of an, in an urban sense. Okay. Yeah. And is that the tree climbing part that I overheard? Yeah, that was. This well, sounds just like like a first a, a junior high kid's <laughs> dream. Like I climb trees. Essentially, um, what I to lead into that is I went and worked for the city of Kitchener Waterloo. Okay. Uh, well, that's two cities, but whatever. Um, and I mapped out all their street trees. And so they had a okay. huge like system. I walked around with a computer and I input all their street trees, diagnose them. Oh, hey, um, you healthy, have unhealthy, healthy, unhealthy. Um, what's the shade? To, what's the shade? Are they being? Do they need to be cut down? Oh, you are you, they diseased? Are they infected? Right. Um, yeah. Such such like that. So I mapped out all of that. Um, that was super awesome for a summer job. Uh, paid really well too. And then wow. I went back to school for arboriculture, which is tree climbing, and that is essentially it's one of the few. I think it's the only trade in Canada that you're allowed to. Um, you have a harness on you, but to secure yourself in with your ropes, it's just knots. Okay, there's, there's, so you've got to know your knots. You need to know your knots, and mm-hmm. there's a lot of knots. And it's really fun yeah. using the knots and tying the trees. A lot of, like, you got, you're hoisting yourself up these trees, and you're getting uh, 10, 15, 20 meters in the air, and you're cutting down limbs, and you're, we're oh, hooking wow. them up to zip lines. And we zip line, we cut a limb, and we zip line down to the wow. ground. Really so you're awesome, pruning really trees for the, yeah. to help maintain them, to keep them healthy. To... Yeah, properly pruning trees. There's a proper way to prune trees, and a lot of people do not do it. It's quite wow. sad, actually, because it can lead to disease and infection. But, um, yeah, pruning trees just for the health to maintain them. There's a lot. Well, put it this way. We, as humans, we can move around. There's a lot of protection and mobility. Gotcha. Trees yeah. stationary don't. And so how do, does an organism develop a defense for maintaining still its entire life? Right. Yeah. It's really interesting to see how teas, uh, sorry, teas, or trees, trees, but uh, also work. tea, but also because tea. that's one of the reasons we exactly. have so many flavored it's, teas. A bug bites it and it reacts to it. It reacts to, to it. And so when I, start, when I finally got into tea, mm-hmm. it was really helpful to have that forestry background sure. to see not so much from a, um, not so much from, oh, as a tea as a meditation or a spiritual standpoint, or not so much tea as a health standpoint, or not mm-hmm. so much tea as, oh, it, it's um, a drink, and oh, I'm, I'm tasting it. From that kind of standpoint, it's more of a tea, it's a, tea from a uh, forestry standpoint yeah, of how sure. does this tree grow here's so, an organism that is growing yeah. and surviving and that we've learned to work with yeah we, not kill it nope but keep it alive work keep with, it healthy exactly and learning. make it into something yeah. amazing and, and so when I went to Japan I lived in Japan after studying my international trade degree um it was okay. really helpful to have yeah. that force your background and say, oh, hey, I know what you're doing. I see what you're doing to these trees and seeing the reaction from okay. there. Okay, so bridge yeah. me from international trade, or uh, from, sorry, from tree, uh, what's the trade name for uh, a Aboriculture. An arborist. Aboriculture yeah. to international trade. Because for me, having gotten into the tea business relatively recently, yeah. I loved your blog on there's no such thing as white yes. tea. Yes. <laughs> right? I love that because I noticed that I was trying to classify stuff for shipping yeah, yeah. across the border or bringing mm-hmm. it down with me, and I'm like, they're missing all the tea categories. Yeah, here. they are. They are. <laughs> so, how did you get from aboriculture to uh, yeah, import and export or I, international trade? I got there. Were, I, I had some. I had some personal issues with the aboricultural trade and, and working in it. Um, and so I, I withdrew from that. Still kept the passion, but withdrew. And I, I wanted to say, well, figure this way. I don't. I didn't want to be forty years old and have a breaking back like my dad. My dad's a tradesman, and I see how much it aches him as he okay, gets sure. older, right? So and I did. Agriculture was very it's much uh, incredibly, incredibly I mean, you strenuous. Me, you said it yeah. yourself. You're zip lining. You're you're, you're hoisting yourself up. Right? You're zip lining. Right? It's, it's there's a, a risk element. It, yeah, it's an incredibly um, sure. a very large risk element. Yeah. So um, fun as hell. Oh, it's it's amazing. <laughs> and uh, so I thought, you know what? This is good, but if I go for something else, if I if I go for, I'm like, you know what? Let's, let's be super safe. Let's do accounting because accounting's fun. So I'm, I'm out in the fields, like you climbing trees. Accounts, you're like, wow, what yeah. great personality! Yeah, 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 great for conversation. Sorry, and uh, yeah, I apologize to all my accountant friends because I need them now. Um, oh, so I I, I, I I decided to say, you know what? Let let's uh, let me go for something more, a little bit more stable. Um, I'll go to accounting. Hated it. Hated my. Hated accounting. Uh, I still hate it. Taxes yeah. is the one thing I I, yeah. I I hate to love or love to hate. Yeah, and, but you got to do it. But you got to do it. And so I went into accounting. Didn't like it. Switched over to marketing. 
liked it, but I figured my idea was, oh, it's going to be flooded because everyone wants to be a marketer. Sure. It's super important. Marketing is fantastic, mm -hmm. but um, it really wasn't for me. And there's this one class offered in my uh, in my college, which was called International Trade. And it was by this one professor, and he was probably one of the best guys I ever met. Really interesting, really knowledge really knowledgeable about international trade. It's like, what is international trade? Well, it's the ship movement of goods from one place to another. That sounds simple. That sounds simplistic. But I could talk to you for hours about how complex and detailed in the minute details that you would never think about but cause every business person who imports a nightmare. And it's the most frustrating things. When your stuff is stuck at the border, that's when international oh, yeah. trade comes yeah, in yeah. handle. Happened to us recently. Yeah, I imagine the, the the hair pulling that can happen. Nightmare. Yeah, it I need what form I need to classify what this didn't come in with what certificate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I I know all that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> most of that. Ever since I found out you're into that, I'm gonna yeah. be making some phone calls yeah, whenever please, I'm yeah. stumped. <laughs> I, I can lend Definitely. a helping hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that got so I just found that fascinating. I pursued that for three years, and that the final year for that, I was supposed to go over and do a. Um, they required a the last semester, um, which three or four months of working with the business. Um, I didn't want to work in my hometown. I had some offers to. I was here, want to go in a circle. Here we go. I was originally supposed yeah. to work in my small town of Peterborough. Didn't really want to do that. Took a, um, a university, so I was signed up for University of Mexico. Uh -huh. um, uh, didn't. Uh, then I got an option to go to Finland. Went was going to go to no. Sorry, was going to Ireland. Then I got an option to go to Finland. So I'm signing up to all these universities. And then my professor says, "Hey, why don't you just go to? Um, you can do whatever you want." And I said, "Okay." So I was getting into tea at that time, and I uh, went to LinkedIn. Went to LinkedIn, and then I um, uh, met Elise Peterson from Tealet, and she's like, "Hey, yo, you want intern at a tea farm?" Yes, please. Two weeks later, I'm in Japan. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. Wow. It was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that was sort of, so we kind of talked about forestry being the beginning of your tea journey, but that's yeah. a little bit... Uh, I was ahead of myself. You were ahead of yourself. Yeah. And this yeah. was really where tea enters the picture that's where, big time. Yeah, that's where tea entered the picture. That I was dating at the time, and then I found I was introduced to matcha because I was really sick. So I'm like, oh, sweet. Okay, matcha. That's really got me into the tea, pursued that. Then this opportunity to go to Japan came up, took nice. it, and nice. off I went. Yeah. All right. And then... Let's let's draw the line from yeah. there to uh, media podcasting. So I can I'm starting to get the picture. You've got yeah, a marketing, yeah. a penchant for marketing. Mm -hmm. You've got an interest in tea. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, then we're at we're, are we at the podcasting? Uh, almost. I came back from Japan, graduated, and got into a, a job working for a freight for, for, for a courier. Uh, um, one of the big main couriers. I'm not going to name names. One of the big couriers. Sure. And I absolutely hated it. Mm -hmm. It was, I came back full of wanderlust. I was suddenly stuck eight hours a day in an office. My hours, I was up at 3 a.m. because the planes landed. I had to clear everything through customs. Okay. I was, yep. um, it was a mess. It drove me crazy. I absolutely despised being there. So my, while I was typing, because all I was doing was entry, I eventually got into um, podcasting, listening to podcasts to kill my time. Entertaining. Yes, That's yes. where it came in. I saw Dan Carling on your list of favorites. Yes, yes, fantastic yes. Fantastic oh, podcast. The, the, the history. Oh, so yeah, really, awesome, just the, awesome. the voice that Tom Way does. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, and so that killed time. But I want to say, hey, let's listen to some tea podcasts. No, one, there, there was no. There was no. Right. There was no tea there podcast. There was. A, a there at least an hour long that I needed, uh, yes, right? Yes. I needed it to be an hour long. There were plenty of podcasts out there, five, ten minutes, right? But they weren't. Some of them were really yeah. well done, or your heads down working, yeah, working yeah. away. You need something you can put on and just get to work, and it works going to roll for an hour. Of course, hour I and hit half. playlist, and off yeah, it goes. Yeah. Well, five minutes, I'm hitting that playlist, and my boss is like, "Why is TJ not, not? Why is he not working?" Exactly. Right, right. Didn't want that, and so I'm like, "You know what? Screw it. I'll do my own." I went to Japan. I lived on a tea farm. I can talk about tea. Yeah. And so that's what I did. Went out, got my, started finding the programs, did some research, got my first mic. I can still remember buying my first mic. That was exciting. And just started nice. talking. And from there, it's kind of spiraled out. I ended up leaving my job there because I wanted to, uh, I, my, my goal was to uh, travel more and go teach English abroad and just travel and learn some more all about in the name of tea. Um, but uh, so no, well, I guess now I'm a year and a half later. I'm finally graduating with my degree because I can't get a job overseas unless I have a university degree. My other degrees okay. have been associate degrees, and so I'm finally getting my BBA, my Bachelor's of Business Admin, in a couple of weeks. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And exam uh, tomorrow. Exam tomorrow. Flying back from Las Vegas to write my exam. Woo. And yay! And uh, yeah, so that's um, 
uh, that's where we are now. And I've been uh, a couple of years. I've been keeping my, with my tea friends, and I've been invited to yeah. uh, expos. And uh, my name's and gradually many, getting up there. How many tea podcasts are we talking about here? Now? Do you have a ballpark? This by the time I'm done the World Tea Expo, getting everything done here, I will have over a hundred. So I'm making so like 96 are. now. Yeah, right. this could be the I could make this though 100th episode. Right. We'll see. We'll see. But, <laughs> I'm patting but myself. On all the that back. to say, yeah, you deserve a big pat on yeah, the back. Thank you. Thank over you. Over 100 episodes from this guy, uh, dedicated to tea. Uh, just a great, rich background. Uh, I try to bring, bring it all up. Yeah, bring so everything much to us. I have. Yeah. So I just want to say thank you. Tell the thank folks you. out there. Thank you. A bit where they can find you. Uh, Oh my goodness. Yeah. Worldteapodcast.com is the name of the website, but also all my socials at World Tea Podcast on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook are my main ones. And I I may have like a drifting Pinterest account out there in the nether yeah, world, yeah. but you uh, know what? social media yeah, is yeah. a maze. It's, uh, it's a labyrinth. But, uh, yeah. but you will find this guy if you want to know about tea. Uh, hmm. You're well, you're, you're going to do well if you look him up. Yes. Thanks for uh, chatting with me. It's Thanks been for a having blast. Me. I wish we pleasure. had some tea. The, yes, I would have been did, great. But <laughs> we didn't have a kettle, so we couldn't do this over tea, but I hope <laughs> we can do another one over tea sometime. I am determined to make my way down to Ottawa to see your. To hope, well, I mean, if you don't have a shop, I, hopefully we can find a park or something and we can park it park out. And, and you uh, can come to our place and we'll yeah, make Yeah, I'd love tea. that. Get you yeah. some, uh, some awesome. good old teas there. That'd be amazing. All right. Thank you, TJ. Thank you, Phil. See you later, everybody. Take care.